All right, here we go. What we're demonstrating here is a quantity of three Micronic MyData SMD tower units for online component storage. Um, we have two of the SMD Tower 2000 units and one of the SMD Tower 5130 units. They're the same uh, mechanically in terms of controls and how the reels are loaded and retrieved. It's just that the 5130 has provisions for uh, the largest and thickest reels such as 44 millimeter thickness. Um, if you look here, this is the total combined quantity between the three towers of all the reel sizes and, and associated counts of reels that can fit in these towers. The reason we have these front panels off is just so you can see the operation of the internal unit. Uh, those uh, items on the floor there are the magazines. Those will clip back into the front of the unit. And then they're covered with these panels. The units are completely sealed um, so that nitrogen is supplied in order to keep the components dry. It comes with a nitrogen generator. That nitrogen generator will feed all three units. The temperature and humidity is monitored by the software in all three units and it will give you complete closed loop control to all your moisture sensitive devices, MSL devices. We're going to do a very quick demonstration just showing you the units uh, taking components and storing them in the tower and then we'll retrieve them from the tower. Uh, the operator would just place the reel on the shelf. It knows the part is there and now it begins to flash. All they need to do is just hit start. We'll do it again on this one. If you want to watch from underneath, you'll be able to see it stored in its, in its shelf. put it in its shelf. In this unit we're going to place a bigger reel. Same process, we just line it up, hit start. As it's loading, it's communicating with the computer and you'll see it'll be returning messages here that it's... Once the reels have been stored, there's access to all the towers graphically so this shows all the columns of reels you can see this is the 5130 so it's got uh, provisions for the larger reels where on a, one of the SMD 2000s you would not see those thicker or at least not as many of them the green shows where it stored that particular reel if you hover over the this graphically It'll tell you what the component is that's in there and how many. So what we'll do now is we'll just retrieve them back out to show you that um, the unit will go get them. We're going to tell it how many we're going to take. We're going to provision it for the pick and place area and then it will come out. Second tower. Here it goes. Now for the last one. Here it goes. And now all three towers are reporting that uh, 
there's reels sitting on the tray to be retrieved. That's why it says to remove it. And you can see the blinking blue light so that the operators know that that's a part that needs to be taken off the, the table. Demonstration of the MyData SMD towers.